Okay, guys, Panzer J back. We are up to turn number three in Operation No Time to Die, 3.1 for Germany, July 1937. So Germany has five tech rolls this turn, <clears throat> and we are going to go for advanced artillery, advanced mechs, long-range aircraft, radar, which are all at stage one, and then wartime economy, which we don't have um, on the board at all right now. So let's start with advanced artillery at seven or higher. And we got a three, so we missed that one. Advanced mech, seven or higher. We got a two, so we missed that one. Long range aircraft, seven or higher. We got a three, we missed that one. Radar, seven or higher. We got a seven, so we got that. And then wartime economy, seven or higher. And we got a five. So. One out of five. So radar moves to stage two. And that's it for Germany. Not looking so good. Um, I thought we were supposed to be technologically superior, but well, it's not working out that way. Okay, so now on to purchases. We have $23 to spend. And we're going to spend the full 23 We are buying three self-propelled artillery for 15 uh, two cavalry for six, that's 21, and a militia upgrade in East Germany for two, so that's 23. I just got chips because uh, they're going to be placed in territories that already have that unit. And then I've already set aside a few. Um, that's going to be for Bohemia, so we're going to be going into there. So um, that is Germany's $23. <clears throat> On to combat. We have three combat moves. Uh, the first one is going to be... Um, this mountain infantry from um, Austria is going to move up one to Bohemia and take that uh, for the Germans. So that'll be up a dollar for Germany. So let's go ahead and adjust that real quick. So Germany's up to 24, and that triggers the French going up one to 10 and the British up one to 16. Okay. Um, a second combat is going to be down here in Spain. One infantry from Madrid is going to come down to, oosh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it's the uh, southern uh, territory there next to Gibraltar. Okay, so they take that because it's um, unoccupied. And then I was thinking about trying to take the rest of Spain this turn, but I don't want to, I don't want to risk losing too much and spread myself too thin. And, um, I mean, I will get one free infantry each turn, so I'm missing out on an infantry, let's say, this turn by not finishing off Spain, but it's only going to be one turn. I think I'm, unless this goes horribly wrong, I'm fairly confident that um, Spain will be German before too, or I should say uh, nationalist before too long. So we are just going to go into M Madrid for our third and final, or excuse me, in uh, Catalonia for our third and final attack. So this cavalry is going to go one Madrid, two to Catalonia. This cavalry is going to go one Madrid, two to Catalonia. Uh, the infantry and the artillery from Madrid are going into Catalonia and all three fighters. So I got the board set up over here. So let's put our two cavalry. They're attacking in mountains, so they go down to two. And then our artillery is a two and our infantry pairs with the artillery for a two. Our three fighters are sixes. And then there is one militia at a two, two infantry at four, and an anti-aircraft artillery. So that is the lineup on the battle board. So those are our three attacks. So two of them are just walk-ins. So let's go ahead and remove um, the Bohemian units. Put down our roundel, our medium factory, and our light armor in Bohemia. And then the other one was a walk-in down in Spain. So now on to the battle where we're actually going to have to roll. So I have first strike with my um, artillery. So I need a two or less there. And we got a six, so we missed. So now we've got three fighters at sixes, and we got a one, nine, and 11. So one hit. So let's put this over here, this die, so we know it's one hit so far. 
Then I've got two cavalry and an infantry all at two. And we got a one, six, and four. So we got a second hit. So um, I would assume that um, Knights Templar is going to want his militia and his anti-aircraft artillery. Okay, so he gets three. Well, let's do the militia first at a two. And roll the seven, so that missed. And then we've got, he's got two infantry at four. And two eight, so he missed there. And then he's got three shots at a three with his anti-aircraft artillery. So three rolls of a three, and I gotta take planes if he gets any hits here. So a one and two seven, so he got one hit. So he got one hit all together, and it has to be one of my planes. So take my plane off. And then he loses two, and that will be the anti-aircraft artillery and the militia. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go back over here. So I have four uh, twos, the two cavalry, the artillery, and the infantry. And we got two fours, a three, and an eight, so we missed all those. And then we've got two sixes for the planes. And a 9 and 11, so we missed every time there. Okay, he has two infantry at four, and he got two hits. So it's lucky I didn't go ahead and do um, all my attacks that I was thinking about trying to finish off Spain this turn. Okay, so two hits. We're going to take the two cavalry. So I'm down to just four units. Got to get some hits here. So let's go for the planes first, see if we can finish them off. Two fighters at six. We got a three and a seven, so one hit. And then two rolls at a two for the artillery and the infantry. And we got a two and a six. So we got a, our second hit. So that's four hit, or that's two, his last two. So now he gets two fours for his infantry and a three and 11. So he did really well. So I am going to lose the artillery for my last um, casualty. So take off his two infantry. And we or the infantry that survived, takes Catalonia. And that should be it for combat. So now we have five of the six territories in Spain. So he definitely got his money's worth um, there. Okay, so now on to non-combat. Since we're in Spain, let's go ahead and do that. One of the fighters is going to fly to Madrid. It went a total of two. So that's its third movement. And the other one is going to fly to Leon Castile. It went two, and it goes two back. So, and it was coming from an airfield anyway, so it had the extra movement regardless. Okay, so that is it in Spain. Then down here in the Mediterranean, we are going to take this German sub in 80 and go one, two, three, down to C-Zone 83. So it's hanging out there with a bunch of other um, ships from different nations. We're going to take this German sub from 48 and come 1, 2, 3 to C-Zone 81. <clears throat> we are going to take a coastal sub from 24 down to 33. We are going to take our destroyer here in 13 and go 1, 2 to sea zone 24. We are going to take our naval transport and our light cruiser that are in sea zone 15 and go 1, 2, 3 to sea zone 24. We are going to take our fighter in uh, Slovakia and go one, two, three into West Germany. So that is now our fifth fighter in uh, West Germany. And we'll chip that out here in a minute. And I believe, oh, and the torpedo boat destroyer in 13 is going to move over one to sea zone 15. So now there's two torpedo boat destroyers and a coastal defense ship there in uh, 15. So that should be it for... Uh, non-combat. So now on to our uh, recruitment role. So we're up to five of the six territories in Spain. 
So I need a five or less. And we got a 12. That figures. Where was that when I was doing my tech rolls? Okay, so that's it for now just on to unit placement. So we've got three self-propelled artillery, and they are being placed in West Germany. And I'll make this a lot neater um, when things are said and done here. So that's West Germany. Then our two cavalry are also going in West Germany. There was already one there. So I'll put him there. And then finally, our militia upgrade was over in uh, East Germany. So take that militia off and add another infantry there in East Germany. So a little recap here. So in West Germany, we have uh, three cavalry, three self-propelled artillery, two infantry, a light armor, and five fighters. In East Germany is five infantry and two artillery. And in Spain, luckily he's down to just one territory because we don't have a lot left. We've got an infantry in Catalonia and whatever that southern territory is. And then a fighter each in Madrid and Leon Castile. So that is it for Germany here on turn number three. They are up to $24. They didn't save anything, so they'll have $24 to spend here on turn number four.